My name is Charlie and I have cystic fibrosis. A lot of times when I tell somebody he has cystic fibrosis, they look right at him and they're looking for what's wrong. But you can't, you can't see it. What Charlie does for fun is anything that requires running at fast speeds with his mouth open, screaming at the top of his lungs. Hit the camera guy! <laughs> he is a typical, extremely energetic seven-year-old boy. Um, he participated in a study and they asked him a bunch of questions about how he felt and what he thought. And I didn't, I had never asked him these questions before. And they asked him if he felt the same as other kids and he said no. How does that thing feel? Horrible, I hate the West. I don't want to know how strong he is. I'd rather not know that. You finding countries you want to go to one day? New Zealand. <laughs> and China and Russia. Who are you going to take to New Zealand? My mom. I'm going to work in the Air Force. It used to be going to his doctor's appointments was excruciating for me because he's healthy, so I, pre I can pretend like he doesn't have CF. I asked his doctor, should I not send him to school? And he's like, well, he has to have a life. And I said, well, will he live longer if I don't send him to school? And he said, yep, he'll live longer if you don't send him to school. And I was like, well, what, what the hell kind of answer is that? And he's like, send your kid to school, Jennifer. Let him have a life. Oh, you haven't awesome. done that before. Give me five. Tragically, I think as a parent, it's my responsibility to instill in him an attitude. I have to tell him having CF sucks, and now you got to get over it. And that's a hard conversation to have with a seven-year-old. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. How about if we go ahead and do that first? Because if that helps. Like as married people, you know, it, it's hard for me when he is feeling pain about CF because. I'm not having it right then, and I don't want any more than I already have. So I, I can see really easily why divorce rates are high for people with sick kids, because you want to turn away from each other, um, and you have to force yourself to turn together, to be willing to be in pain to support each other. Also when we get sick, you know, instantly we're both in pain, we're both reminded of what that could mean for us. We think about it every time somebody coughs. Oh, yeah. we, we look at each other and then we look at him and we try to find wherever that threat is coming from and get it away from our kid. Just double checking. So have we been having any, have we been coughing very much? No. Have we been sick? Yes. Yes. I haven't looked at him and said, you could die from this disease. I haven't had that conversation with him.